I'd like to spend our last few minutes talking about drug addiction. Uh, and I was reminded of this today because President Biden is announcing his first plan to take on drug addiction in this country. Uh, and I know that you've been the leader on pushing for supervised injection sites. You tried to get one going in Philadelphia. It was blocked by courts. Still isn't up and going. We have some in New York. Um, but what's the status on that? Do you hope to eventually see a supervised injection site in Philadelphia? First of all, my hope was we wouldn't we wouldn't need to even be talking about it. Secondly, we're in conversations with the Department of Justice now. Um, we, we would not be running the site. It would be run by a nonprofit. Um, the, the, my, from my perspective, if you die of a drug overdose, you can't get better. You can't um, go to treatment. You can't get your life back. So if you inject in an alleyway or you know under a bridge somewhere and you lose your life, your life is gone for good. If you are using drugs and can inject in a safe place with medical, me medically supervised folks, uh, and you overdose, we can save your life and perhaps get you to a point where you'll get into into recovery. Um, and and that's it's basically harm reduction and life saving. Uh, I understand how it cuts against people's understanding of whether or not you know drugs are you know drugs are not a good thing uh, and that people shouldn't use them. But the fact of the matter is they do use them and they're dying from them in large numbers. And if we could set up a system or a situation. <clears throat> where they can deal with their addiction, um, inject safely, uh, and not die, I think that's our responsibility to keep people from dying. 